Welcome to Facebook Comment Automation Tutorial from ZebraBuzz Comment Growth Tools. To begin, first click on the Comment Growth Tools on the left sidebar menu. After the page is fully loaded, you can enter the automation campaign for Facebook pages by clicking on Automation Campaign Label or click on Detail. Remember, you probably won't be able to see all the features demonstrated in this tutorial within your ZebraBuzz account. The availability of the features depends on your current subscription package. The automation campaign of the Facebook section is divided into three parts. The left one is for your bot-enabled pages. The first half of the middle section is where you will find the reports of auto-reply enabled posts, auto-comment enabled posts, and tag reply enabled posts. In the second half of the middle section, you will find full page campaigns and reports of all the comment automation campaigns. And finally, the right side displays the lists of your latest posts. You can set auto comment by posts ID through clicking the button set campaign by ID, which is found on the right section. This is mostly useful for Facebook ads posts you have created from the Facebook ads manager. If you have ever edited or modified your ads after creating, then this technique of set campaigns by ID may not work because Facebook creates different variations of your post for each time you edit. You can also set the auto comment and auto reply from the list of the latest posts. To do that, just click the settings icon found on the bottom right position of the image of each post. Clicking the setting icon will display four options. First, enable auto reply. Second, enable auto comment. Third, enable and fetch commenter. Fourth, leave a comment now. Let's see the four options. First, enable auto reply. Clicking this option opens a pop-up with a number of more options. The first option will ask you if you want to use the saved templates. By default, choosing from saved templates is set to yes. If you have set a reply template already, then you can simply choose the template you want to apply here. If you don't have a reply template set up, then change the default yes to no. We are setting this option to no for this tutorial. Next, you have the option to choose labels or create new labels. If you choose labels, then when users comment on the post and get private replies in their inbox, they will be added to those labels. This will help you segment your leads and broadcast from the messenger broadcaster. If you don't want to add labels for this post comment, then just keep it blank as it is. Adding labels will only work once a private reply is set up. And you will need to sync subscribers later to update subscriber information. In this way, the subscriber will not be eligible for bot subscribers until they reply back in Messenger. Next, choose the hide or delete option to let the app know what you want to do about offensive comments. Next, you can write down the offensive keywords separated by a comma if you are going to insert more than one offensive keyword. Now, you have an optional setting to select a message template to send in a private messenger reply after deleting an offensive comment. Then, you have an option to select if you want to send the reply multiple times when users make a comment multiple times. Next, you need to make sure to enable the comment reply option if you want the auto reply to function. Then, you can enable a setting to enable the page to automatically like the comment made by the commenter. This action will notify the commenter that the page has liked their comment. Then, you can also set the option to automatically hide the comment made by the commenter immediately. This can be useful when you want to manually unhide only the positive comments you want to be shown to the public. 
Next, we will set up our comments and our message reply. Currently, ZebraBuzz allows both generic and filtered replies. A generic reply will send the same reply to all commenters, while a filter reply will respond to a particular keyword or keywords. Let's see how to set up a generic message for all. First, add the auto reply campaign name. Then, add the message for comment reply you would like your bot to reply comments with. Next, you have the option to upload an image, a video, or use a direct image URL in your comment reply as well. Now, you can select and choose a message template for a private reply or create a new message template. This is the message that will be sent to the user's messenger inbox. Finally, you can save your work and add all your settings as a reply template by clicking on Submit and Save Template button on the bottom left. Or, you can simply click on the Submit button located on the bottom right to simply save all the work you have completed. Let's now see the second automation campaign setting, which is Enable Auto Comment option. This option is used when you want to set up a comment reply one time or in a periodically scheduled type without sending a private reply to the commenter. To set this up, click on the Enable Auto Comment option and a pop-up will appear with a list of options. First, give a name to the Auto Comment campaign. Second, choose an auto comment template already created. Then, choose from a one time or periodic schedule type. The one time campaign will comment only the first comment of the selected template, and the periodic campaign will auto comment multiple times periodically as per your setting. After completing the schedule type timing, click on Save. All right, let's now proceed and see the third option. Enable and fetch commenter, which is a tag campaign feature. It is ZebraBuzz's fourth feature for Facebook pages. Clicking this option will fetch the commenter information and enable the post for tagging. A piece of pop-up information in the label success will appear. Now, let's see the fourth automation campaign individual post setting, which is called Leave a Comment Now option, which is simply an instant comment sender directly from the page. When you click on the Leave a Comment Now option, a pop-up will appear. In the space provided, you can provide a message as a comment. After you are done writing the comment, click on the Create Comment button. A comment will appear instantly on the post. Okay, now we are going to see full page campaigns, which is the second half part of the middle section. This section contains two main types of full page automation and report checking buttons. First, comment and inbox reply full page automation. Second, auto like and share full page automation. You also have a third option to see campaign reports, which are auto reply report, auto comment report, comment tag report, full page reply report, auto like and share report. Let's now see how to enable full page reply. This setting will be enabled for all posts on the entire page. To begin, click on Enable the Full Page Reply button. A pop-up will open with similar options to a single post comment automation. First, choose the Hide or Delete option to let the app know what you want to do about offensive comments. Next, you can write down the offensive keywords separated by a comma if you are going to insert more than one offensive keyword.
Now, you have an optional setting to select a message template to send in a private messenger reply after deleting an offensive comment. Then, you have an option to select if you want to send the reply multiple times when they create a comment multiple times. Next, you need to make sure to enable the comment reply option if you want the auto reply to function. Next, you can enable a setting to enable the page to automatically like the comment made by the commenter. This action will notify the commenter that the page has liked their comment. Then, you can also set the option to automatically hide the comment made by the user immediately. This can be useful when you are able to manually unhide the comments you want to be shown to the public. Now, we will set up our comments and our message reply. Currently, ZebraBuzz allows both generic and filtered replies. A generic reply will send the same reply to all commenters, while a filter reply will respond to a particular keyword or keywords. Let's see how to send messages by filtering word or sentence. First, choose the keywords that you would like your bot to respond to. Next, add the comment that you would like your bot to reply with. You have the option to upload an image, a video, or use a direct image URL in your comment reply as well. Here you can choose the message template or your private reply or create a new message template. This is the message that will be sent to the user's messenger inbox. If no keyword match is found in the posted comment, you can specify a different comment reply here. Again, you have the option to upload an image of the video or use a direct image URL in your comment reply. Here you can specify a different private message to send to the user and no keyword match is found. Once you have completed the form, simply click on the Save button and your comment automation template is set. The second full page campaign option is to enable auto like and auto share to posts. To enable this option click on enable like and share button found on the full page campaign section. A pop-up box with two options will appear. The first one is to enable or disable auto share posts as pages. And the second one is to enable or disable auto-like posts by pages. Auto-like currently supports a maximum of two pages. After enabling or disabling preferred auto, like and share options, you need to click on the save button to save your work. Alright, this concludes the comment automation ZebraBuzz tutorial for Facebook pages.